Hey, Clint Butler here. Let's face the facts. More often than not, when you're optimizing your web page uh, speed, you're looking for a boost in your rankings. However, there's a great side effect of having a fast-loading website, and that's the increased engagement your content gets from real visitors. In fact, I want to take a look at Cloudflare and see if it's something that you should use on your site. This is a very, very touchy subject for a lot of people, so let's check it out, and I'll show you why I think you should turn it on. All right, so what we're looking at is the Cloudflare website, and you can get to that by uh, going to cloudflare.com. And what it is is a content delivery network, and more importantly, in my opinion, a security block uh, for hackers and known threat IP addresses. All you have to do to turn it on, and it's really simple, is change your name servers from your hosting to Cloudflare after you open up your Cloudflare account and then boom everything just kinda works. There's only one instance where that doesn't and that's if you're using a dedicated hosting or a, a VPS service i.e. in my case like provided by Liquid Web and you have to change a couple DNS's on the Liquid Web side but other than that I've only run into one or two issues uh, using Cloudflare and it's significantly helped increase the page speed of my sites without doing anything to the site. That being said, there are a couple key things that you need to take care of in the process of doing it. The third benefit is now Google and Cloudflare are actually integrated. Now if you know the Google Cloud platform, basically what it is is you know it's hosting other you know stuff you can use it for processing etc but Cloudflare is integrated with it and connected it so that you can actually reach more of the world um, by using Cloudflare service it's a pretty cool side benefit so in my opinion should you use Cloudflare yes is it gonna work right out of the box and be perfect for you not every time there are a couple instances where you need to figure that out and we'll get to those in other videos as we set up and optimize a site for a page speed